our next system is an example of what's going to happen when we have a system with a solution that has an infinite amount of solutions. So let's go through and since I can't add them right now in a way that a variable would drop out, let's multiply the top one by a 2. So I have a 4x minus 2y equals a 6. The bottom one I'm going to leave the same, 4x plus 2y equals a negative 6. Protect my system. I'm going to add them up. My x's drop out. Again, my y drops out. And my solution is 0. So I get a statement at some point in time where it might say 0 equals 0 or 4 equals 4. Regardless, this is a true statement. And again, what that means is that any solution that's a solution of one line will be as a solution of the other line. So it has an infinite amount of solutions. And so using the addition method, we can also get solutions that are infinite.